forex traders particularly ignored the news about the violent protests at the capital in Washington, as well as the extremely weak ADP report and the publication of minutes from the Fed's December meeting. According to Minutes, the regulator expects a significant increase in inflation in the near future. At the same time, there is a sharp slowdown in economic activity. The central bank will stick to its bond buying program, which is likely to have a negative impact on the US dollar. For the last few days, investors around the world have been closely following the news on the second election runoff in Georgia. As a result, the first and the second seats were given to Democrats. It means that in any controversial situation, US Vice President Kamala Harris, who is also a Democrat, will have the decisive vote. Democrats gained power at all levels in the government, which was the reason for the protests. The US dollar as a safe haven asset advanced amid political turmoil. The euro dollar quote is trying to rise, but it cannot break through the strong resistance level of 1.2357, so the pair dived down. Nevertheless, technical indicators continue to signal further growth of the euro. Taking into account the current situation, it's recommended to open loan deals on the euro at the most favorable price. Today, Eurostat unveiled that the Eurozone maintains the same deflation rate. Consumer prices continue to decline by 0.3% in annual terms. The ECB may take drastic measures. The economic situation in the UK is not better, business activity in the UK is worse than expected, and the speech of the Governor of the Bank of England was extremely formal, without any important details. The pound sterling is hesitant to pick up a trend, so it's trading flat. The pound dollar pair attempted to reach the correction level of 1.3522. Yet, bulls are not ready to give up. The pair rose to the level of 1.36. And that's all for now. We continue to learn developments on financial market situation. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned with us. See you soon.